Hi guys, hello, hello. Oh my goodness. Good morning, hi guys. Hey, I just started, I just popped on here. So y'all have not missed anything. Y'all have not missed a thing. Hey guys, hello, hello. Where are y'all watching from? Tell me in the comments. Ooh. Where are y'all watching from? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Arizona, cool. I was there over the summer. Tulsa, Oklahoma, I was in the OKC over the summer. Ooh, Norway, I'm Norwegian. Tennessee, California, Pennsylvania. Hello, hello everyone. Hello, hello. I just popped on here, but I'm gonna do a collective um, two, two, two reading today. Very, very powerful palindrome day. Powerful day for manifesting. Hey, Megan. Yes, if you guys are not manifesting today, what are you even doing? New York City, hello. I'm in Jersey, so hello, East Coast. Hello, hello everyone. And yes, the U.S. Pluto return. The U.S. Pluto return. So <laughs> the next eight weeks for um, <laughs> anything to do with morals, ethics, and finances in the U.S. is going to be a shit show. If you live in the U.S., get ready. <laughs> All right. Um, so guys, let me know. Uh, let me know who's new in the live. Let me know who's new in the live. Get sorry for your loss. I ask who's new because I figure you guys should know who you're watching, right? <laughs> you guys should know who you're watching, right? Awesome. Welcome, welcome, everybody. So hi to everyone who's new. Um, my name is Jacqueline. I'm the Holistic Siren. And on my channel, I help you guys heal physically, emotionally, and spiritually. How do I do that? Um, I have my master's degree in nutrition and dietetics and education. So I offer nutrition and self-care tips and solutions. And then I'm also a natural born psychic medium, Reiki practitioner and tarot reader. Okay, so I help you guys connect with your past loved ones, your divine spirit guides, your angels um, to deliver messages only of healing and for your highest and best. So that is what I do. Um, so if you like that, let me know in the comments. And every single day, because we're a team, we have a goal of hitting 30,000 likes, 30K likes every single morning. Last, uh, yesterday, the day before, we hit the 30K goal in 20 minutes. So um, if y'all wanna be part of the team and help us reach our goal, just tap, tap, tap the screen as much as you can. All right, but I'm gonna do a quick collective for today, two, 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 two. February 22nd, 2022. We will not have another day like this, I think in like 200 years. So, and today is a Tuesday, okay, a Tuesday. So lots of significance, lots of significance. Today is also Mars Day, okay? So Tuesday is ruled by the planet Mars, um, meaning take action, okay, on what you wanna manifest. Meaning write down what you wanna manifest, speak it into existence, take a small action toward whatever you wanna manifest, okay? Alrighty, but let me know in the comments, guys, who's ready for the reading? Who's ready for the reading? Tell me, tell me. I like interaction, so if you don't tell me, I'm not motivated. Okay. Cool. So um, I'm gonna do uh, love, career, money. Love, career, money, okay? And spirituality. Love, career, money, spirituality. Okay, so let's do love first because that seems to be the topic for everyone. Um, the number two represents balance, harmony. Two, two is also a master number, um, a master number that represents manifestation of what you want in physical reality. Uh, it's also 10, 10 right now where I live. So close, you guys are closing out cycles today, big time. I'm hearing a big conversations maybe had today, bringing balance back into relationships, the relationship you have with yourself. Take it as it resonates though. Um, but let's see, let's do love. 
All right, so God's Rush Universe, Divine Creator of All Things, what do we need to know in regard to love for today, February 22nd, 2022? Let's do love first. I'm going to read each row individually. Oh, shit. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Regarding love, you guys, you, um, the guidance here is to get out of your own, get out of your head regarding where you should put your energy. Okay. If you guys have been wondering like, oh, should I like try with this person? Should I, you know, should I take my energy away? Should like, there's, conf what this is saying is today, it's going to become very clear that your energy needs to be put into what yourself. Queen of wands, queen of wands. Okay. This is the mystic Mondays tarot. All right. So eight of swords is self-sabotage. Okay. I feel like you guys are bringing back into balance where you put your energy toward and you're finally putting it toward hmm, queen of wands yourself. Now this could be putting energy toward like stepping out of your head, like getting out of your own negative thoughts. Um, and investing or putting money towards a creative endeavor, maybe um, your your healing journey, like doing shadow work, maybe your appearance because the queen of wands, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. All right. So maybe getting your hair done, your nails done, maybe you're getting a massage or whatever. Remember, this is for today. All right. Um, but I, I feel like you guys are not, um, you are not, uh, you're seeing clearly where your energy needs to go. Okay. You're seeing clearly where your energy needs to go, where you should be directing it in love, meaning love yourself. It's becoming abundantly clear that if you want to attract love, you need to love yourself first. If you do not love yourself, you are only going to attract people that do not love themselves. Okay. Now in the main row, we have the ace of cups in the reverse the star in the reverse, and then the three of cups in the reverse. Wow, a lot of internal shifts happening. A lot of internal shifts happening. Okay, what this is saying is part of your shadow work, you guys, part of your shadow work is accepting the things that did not work out. Okay, accept the things that did not work out, the relationships that didn't work out, the friendships, any type of relationship. It could be family member, friend, romantic partner, because that's what's blocking your healing. Okay, but with the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck, I feel like you guys are finally like taking initiative, taking action, understanding that. But we're going to clarify. We have full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay. Just because something didn't work out doesn't mean you should lose hope. We have 111 people in the live, by the way, 111, new beginnings. Um, just because something didn't work out the way you wanted it to does not mean you should lose hope, okay? New moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. Um, I feel like you guys are, are like, <sighs> the reason, okay, the reason that the reconciliation, the coming back together didn't happen is because you are being guided, what I just said, to give energy back to yourself, to invest in yourself, to focus on yourself. I know this is like some a lot something you guys don't want to hear, okay? But it's time to focus on your own dreams, okay? Your own aspirations, all right? Um, like what... It's like, um, stop focusing on healing a connection, 
Focus on healing the relationship you have with yourself. That's where the balance comes in, okay? Um, the, the equal give and take to yourself, all right? Um, just because something didn't work out doesn't mean you should get into this hopelessness energy um, because I you you weren't going to get the... Um, you weren't going to get the outcome you wanted, the result you wanted. This is giving me like, uh, like avoiding instant gratification. Like you guys just wanted instant gratification in love, but it, that's not long-term. That's not long-term. Yeah, strength. Look, another 10, 19, one plus nine is 10. Um, fennel, strength. Yeah, you guys are, are asking to tap in, are being guided to tap into your inner strength. Know that like, be more present. Stop going back to the past. The past is done. It's not gonna help you right now. And don't look into the future. The future is, is undetermined, okay? Like, it's cool getting tarot readings and whatever else about the future, but my loves, free will fucks that shit up, okay? Humans are fickle, all right? We change our minds all the time, meaning we can change our energy, we can shift outcomes like that, like in a second, okay? So if something feels hopeless now, if you didn't get what you wanted right now, it, like you were, you would have only gotten a three of cups, like a quick reconciliation, but you wouldn't have gotten the whole kit and caboodle, right? Um, this is also saying if you, if things are not panning out the way you want regarding something that you love, you need a more practical plan. Okay. Um, now with the full moon in Taurus and then the Piscean energy, especially cause we're in Pisces season now. Um, today is a powerful day for manifesting. So if you guys, um, are trying to manifest love or whatever else, write it down. Okay. Write it down. Like what, and think practically about it. Like what would your manifestation look like, feel like, um, what would your day to day look like? Okay. Every little minute detail, write it down today. I'm serious. Take the time. Even if it takes like an hour, take the time to do this. Okay. You will thank me for it later. Okay. I want more clarity and love though. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to pull more cards for this. Can we get more clarity and love for today? Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Strength. Someone's scared. Someone's work building up the courage for something. Yeah. The fool. And then the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. You have worked very hard to get into a stable place. Stability in your career, in your finances, in your self-care, your self-love, the relationships you have, the relationship you have with yourself. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles, she's the most mature queen. So you have a very high level of maturity, okay, in many different ways because you've been through it, okay? Now, Knight of Pentacles, um, okay, Knight of Pentacles, you are slowly but surely working on what? Building up the courage to take, to step into this new beginning, to step into your independence, okay? Also, if this is a person, this person is working on building up or getting, getting over their fear of like approaching you about a new beginning. Because whoever this is sees you as the Queen of Pentacles. This is collective. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles. It, it, male or female, it doesn't matter gender-wise. Um, so it might be like intimidating to approach you because you are well-established, you're independent, you know who you are, you know what you want, and you're gonna tell them what you want, okay? The Queen of Pentacles, like she is very mature, but she does speak her mind. Like the Pentacles isn't like about communication, but the level of maturity that she has uh, tra like translates into how she communicates. This is also saying communicate with, communicate from a grounded place, a, mat a mature place.
Let me know what's resonating, guys. The Magician. The Eight of Wands. You guys are manifesting quickly. This is the love section, so you guys are manifesting love quickly. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. Um, whatever... Yeah, Knight of Wands. Um, whatever you have been investing your energy into, whatever you have been trying to manifest, it, you're about to see the result very quickly. And Knight of Wands, it's going to come in very, very spontaneously, maybe unexpectedly in a good way. Because you you you're work because you're working on yourself. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like also you may get communication regarding someone willing to put the energy in, make the investment in you. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. Someone younger than you or immature though, with that night energy. With that night energy. Yet, yeah, okay, so this night energy did not give you, it It did not lead to the emotionally fulfilling relationship you wanted. The healing for both of you is overcoming fear of communicating how you feel. Yeah, the healing that you both are doing is overcoming the fear of communicating how you feel. That's part of your healing journey. This hits for me, guys, big time. Yeah, um, the reason that the new beginning it didn't come when you wanted it to is because it was very much Three of Cups energy. There could have been like a third party. Um, it doesn't mean cheating. It, it, a third party could be a family member, a job, a, another, a friend, like speaking in their ear or something. It doesn't have to be like a, a, like a love interest, okay? Third party just means an outside influence affecting the person, okay? Um, a lot of you guys jump to cheating and it's not always that. Um, but also... You're both working on yourselves, okay? Seven of Pentacles. You're both investing in yourself um, and, and growing, okay? Uh, healing. So that's why it didn't pan out, like, as quickly as you wanted it to because it just wasn't ready. It wasn't ripe. But there's, there's reignited passion here. Reignited passion, someone coming in spontaneously, maybe, passionately. What I'm hearing is, I, I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. Yes, God loves all of us. There we go. Okay. Guys, I think I might stick with the love. Should I stick with just love reading today? I'm feeling this. I just asked if I should stick with the love reading and I got the lover's card, y'all. Are you for real? <laughs> I just asked if I should stick with a love reading and I got the lover's card. Are you fucking kidding me? I can't make... You saw me. You saw me. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, um, I'm clearly I'm sticking with love. Okay, we're going to stick with love. Um, maybe I'll pull one card for finances, career, and whatever else. Okay, so the lovers. Um, this is soulmate connection, guys. Soulmate, soul connection, um, past life, probably. Yeah, two of pentacles. You, you, you both are juggling a lot. There's a lot of responsibility, okay? A lot of responsibility on both of your plates. Um, like the healing, yes, but also maybe you're getting busier in your career. You're figuring your life direction out. Maybe there's some family shit going on. Um, you're taking care, like... I'll get, oh, okay, story time. You guys love story time. For anyone who's new, story time. Oh, side note, guys, we have a 30K like goal that we hit every single day. So if you're new, join our team. Keep tapping the screen to like the live um, and help us reach the 30K goal. Okay, anyway, um, you both are juggling a lot. 
Okay, I feel like there's not communication here because again, you both are working on communicating how you really feel. Um, but the thing is, you didn't get the Ace of Cups, which is like a, like a new emotional start, okay? Because work is work is being done on manifesting something much more tangible, much deeper. Okay, when you go from, you have the Ace of Cups, right? This is a minor arcana. By the way, guys, um, my tarot school is live. Okay, so if you want to register for tarot school, classes start April 5th, if you like the way that I read. But this is why I'm going to explain. This is a little bit of what you're going to learn in tarot school. Um, Ace of Cups in the reverse. I mean, Ace of Cups in general, this is a minor arcana. So minor arcana means um, it's like day to day stuff. Okay. Major arcana, like the lovers, the magician, the strength card. This is soul lessons, life lessons you signed up to learn. Okay. So Ace of Cups, like, yeah, you would want that. It's like, it, it's opportunity. It's like a new relationship coming in, but it's just the start. This this is soul connection. This is like past life. This is deep. This is like fret. This is like new. Like, let's see how it goes. Like it is a good card, but this, you want this rather than this. Okay. Just saying. Anyway, I digress. The link is in my bio. If you guys want to check out tarot school anyway, two of pentacles. Um, yeah, I, you need to focus on your shit right now. There's a lot going on in your life. Um, you're being directed toward figuring out your life. Please stop commenting Aries. Like it weren't, this is collective. I'm not doing Zodiac. Please stop that. Um, anyway, whatever you guys are juggling right now, this is one less thing that you have to juggle. Okay. You've got to like, kind of let it, let it, let the situation breathe. Okay. Let the situation breathe. Both of you need to breathe. Okay, you're both working through a lot of shit. But let's see. Yeah, okay. Five of Cups. Wow, okay. All right, so we have the Two of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. Oh, wow, okay. Oh my goodness. This has been in so many readings. Um, two of wands, planning, planning, preparation, what, how to get past your boundaries, how to approach you with what an offer ace of pentacles. We have two aces. We have the ace of cups and then the ace of pentacles. Okay. Um, something stable, something long-term. Okay. But there's planning, um, you guys could be very defensive at this time or very guarded, heavy boundaries. You guys have worked very hard on establishing energetic boundaries, not just with uh, this person, with people in general. Like to me, this is like, you're not taking any shit. Okay. You, part of your healing is saying no. Okay. A lot of you are people pleasers. Um, uh, yes, men, yes, men or women, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, Part of your healing is saying no to people. You don't always need to show up for others, especially when others do not show up for you. <laughs> okay. Um, but whoever this is, is looking for a way to approach you because they know that you're guarded. Um, Ace of Pentacles to offer you something solid. That, that's just the bottom of the deck. This is like the foundation of the reading, you guys. Okay. Um, you guys were so close to 30K. Keep tapping the screen. Anyway. The lovers, the five of cups, and the six of wands. Um, to me, this is overcoming the past hurts. Okay, five of cups. Um, overcoming regret, moving past the loss. Okay, but together. This is overcoming the grief together. Okay, now, oh, we hit 30K, you guys. Awesome. Awesome, we hit 30K. Let's go for 50. Let's go for 50. Let's do it. Okay, but with the lovers... I feel like you guys, the lovers is also, this is, we, okay. So we have Gemini energy, big time. We have Aquarius. We have Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, and then Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heavy Taurus, heavy Pisces, heavy uh, Gemini and Aquarius. Yeah. Okay. Um, but 
from a from a healing perspective from a self-healing perspective you guys you are moving past your grief okay whatever you've been grieving regarding a relationship or um the or um whatever healing that you have been focused on that has been really has been emotional for you. Now this could be grieving the loss of a loved one. Now it could be a romantic partner, it could be a family member or a friend, doesn't matter. Or the loss of a part of yourself. There's some sort of internal healing, divine masculine, divine feminine. Okay, but you had to let go of the past. You had to let go of, um, you, you, you had to stop focusing on what was lost and focus more on what you had to gain, okay? The, I feel like there's a big shift happening today where you're going to be able to focus on what you have to gain, the opportunities ahead of you, six of wands, rather than focusing on what was lost. What was lost was never meant for you, okay? Anything that is meant for you will always find you and will stick around. I want to take a look. I want to take a look at this spread a little bit more. Um, yeah, the three of cups in the reverse, the fool in the reverse. They definitely feel foolish about the choice they made, letting this whoever or whatever situation get in the way. Remember, guys, three of cups. Um, third party does not mean like it could be a job that got in the way a life situation yes it could be a person but it could be a family member a friend it doesn't always have to be like a cheating situation but the thing is that had to get cleared out and you both needed to invest in yourselves to successfully move forward together so I'm reading the rose horizontally now Yeah, big part of your both of your healing journeys is to overcome this feeling of hopelessness. Like, okay, this is acceptance. It's almost like you were afraid to accept what what was happening. You were afraid to accept what was happening because it it would almost like affect what you were trying to manifest in your love life. You were afraid to accept the situation because you thought it would just bring you more you were afraid to face your grief so a lot of you were afraid to face your grief a lot of you needed to face what you needed what you truly needed to heal and it was much deeper than this relationship this situation that ended and you guys are learning that because you're seeing the patterns it wasn't just with this person this is some deep shit this is like inner child stuff or at least from the past at least from the past. Yeah, and the thing is though, the the quicker that you are get into a place of acceptance, the quicker you become present and remove yourself from the being engulfed in the past and fixated on the future, the quicker you will move through your grief. Big time. Also, releasing instant gratification and taking the time to do your work on yourself, your healing, is going to manifest the union you want. So here's the deal. This whole thing is about each of you focusing on yourself respectively. You fixating on your person is only slowing down the result that you want. You want to manifest the relationship or uh, with this person or want to manifest the relationship that you truly deserve. My love, I said this earlier, you have to do the healing work so you love yourself. So you attract Someone who loves you because they love themselves. If you don't love yourself, you cannot truly love anyone else. This goes for me to you guys. 
I don't love myself. I'm working on it, but I don't truly 100% love myself. And that's full disclosure. You guys know I'm fully transparent with you, okay? I attracted someone who does not love themselves and look where it got me, right? I take accountability for that. And now I'm doing my work. I'm in therapy, I'm journaling, I'm meditating. Okay, I'm focusing on me, not what they're doing. It's hard, but I'm not, okay? This is also Gemini energy. I feel like there's gonna be a conversation that goes well. Like, okay, I said this in the weekly tarot scope. So if you guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and follow me on Instagram. All the links are in my TikTok bio for that um, because I, po I post a weekly tarot scope every week. And I said something about this, about communication or a conversation that's happening this week. But I see this like, because the lovers, like I said, this is Gemini. Gemini is throat chakra communication about what? About relation, uh, some sort of relationship dynamic. Um, and I feel like it's going to go well with the six of wands. Um, maybe there's going to be expression or communication about the regret, how lost this person feels without you or vice versa. Um, and it's going to get you the result you want. This is also saying when you communicate, come from your heart, or communicate through your heart space, not your ego. Strength card in the reverse, this is ego, okay? You guys are actively working on, on uh, overcoming your ego tendencies. So is your person. Both of you are in your ego. Take accountability for your own shit is what I'm hearing from your guides, okay? Yeah, both of y'all were in your fucking ego. Okay, and that's why the universe, your guide, blocked this new beginning. Because you were too in your ego. Both of you need to take the time. Here we go. Knight of Pentacles. Take the time, slow and steady wins the race, to work out of your ego so the new beginning can come. You don't want this person right this second because it's just gonna be the same song and dance. The same fucking thing. Do you wanna go through the pain all over again? Let me know in the comments. Do you want, it's like, um, what is it? The, um, the definition of, uh, of being um, insane. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Do you wanna be considered insane? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. No, that's what the universe is trying to tell you. So the more you invest in yourself, the quicker your manifestations are going to come in love. So forget this fucking person for a while. They're not going to, okay, some of you need to hear this. They're not forgetting you. They're not forgetting you. Some of you are like, they're going to forget me if I'm not like at the forefront of their mind. You made a big impact on this person, just as this person made a big impact on you. This is soul connection, soulmate. Soulmates don't have to be romantic partners. It could be friends, family. It doesn't have to be just romantic. The more you work on yourself, the faster the result you want that's going to come. All right. I'm going to pull more cards. Let's see. The tarot is a ridiculous straight. Okay. We have the emperor. Is the emperor. Seven of cups. Three of swords. Knight of cups. We have the Emperor, we have the Seven of Cups, and then we have the Three of Swords.
Okay. Um, the indecision is like, is, is really killing you guys. Okay. Um, like throwing you off. Okay. The indecision. It's like, we have the emperor here. So this is like this decisive, like choosing a direction, building new foundations energy. But then you like go into the seven of cups energy where you're like, oh, well, let me consider all the options. Like, you know, I'm hearing, should I stay or should I go? Like, so you, you're in, it's like a back and forth, like an indecisive energy almost because the emperor is very decisive, but then seven of cups is like, you, you kind of teeter back and forth. And then three of swords, you just break your own heart over and over and over again because the three of swords is in the upright, which I, I don't like because it just means you guys are keeping yourself stuck. Okay. So there's fear around, oh, okay. <laughs> there's fear around you going your own direction and choosing you. It's like you guys are, um, you're not used to choosing yourself. So it's very uncomfortable. So it's like you get into this headspace of, yes, like I'm choosing myself. I'm going this direction. But then the old you creeps in. Hmm. Should I like go this direction or like, should I still consider these other options, these other people or whatever? Take it as it resonates. And then you just go right back into like, oh, my heart hurts. The crying, the like mourning okay the hurting your heart okay so how do you how do you fix that how do you fix that stay in this emperor energy and choose your motherfucking self don't focus on other people okay listen it's when you're so used to having to prove your worth feeling like you need to prove your value like i will do all these things to prove that I'm worthy of being loved. No, that's a toxic pattern, my love, okay? Oh my gosh, you guys, we hit 50K, I love this. I love it, let's go for 70. Let's go for 70, okay? It's interesting, doing the, the hard thing for you is Knight of Cups, moving toward loving yourself, moving toward emotionally, accepting who you are, loving who you are, embracing who you are. That's the difficult thing for you guys, because again, there's this fear of, if I don't fixate on this situation or this person, it's not gonna come to me. But beloved, you, you're being called to trust, trust. This is divine timing, big time. Believe me, this hits me too, guys. Oh, like a ton of fucking bricks, like a ton of bricks, okay? This is divine timing, okay? Okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Who needs some who needs some support in loving themselves and self in embracing self-love? Tell me in the comments. Who needs more support in embracing self-love? Tell me. Yeah, no wonder I needed to stick with with love because it, it incorporated self-love as well. Yeah, a lot of you, a lot of you. Okay. So I'm going to say this really quick. Um, I'm going to say this really quick. Um, I'm not doing, uh, I'm not doing paid readings today because I, I really want you guys to invest in, in something that's, um, more worthwhile. Okay. So I'm hosting a two, uh, two, two, two portal self-love activation healing session today. Okay. Okay. I'm hosting a two, two, two portal, self-love healing, self-love activation healing session today. Okay. Um, the session is going to be focused on helping you embrace your journey, your self-love and detaching from the fixation on this person, on this situation, the obsession. You get what I'm saying? So you really tap into your heart space and you focus on you. Because that, like I said, that is what needs, that is what you're being guided to do to actually bring the result you want, okay? Two, two, two people on the live. I can't make this shit up. Two, two, two people on the live. So if you guys would like to join the self-love activation healing session, the link is in my TikTok bio, okay? The session is today at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
However, it is recorded. It is recorded. So you can watch the replay whenever you want. Okay, you can watch the replay. Again, two, two, two people in live. I, I can't make this shit up. Okay, so if you guys, I saw a lot of you saying, I need to embrace self love today. Okay, I need that self love activation. Go sign up. Okay, go sign up. The link is in my TikTok bio. Okay. Um, look, bottom of the deck, daffodil, hope, yellow flower, yellow, solar plexus, inner child, ego. Okay, hope. What did I say? You guys were feeling hopeless? Hope is not lost. Hope is not lost. Okay. But that was uh, that was the love read for two two two. That was the love read for two two two. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe you guys should bring in more yellow flowers, sunflowers, daffodils, tulips, whatever. But yellow, there, yellow is a big focus today. Um, but does anyone have questions about the self love activation healing session today? Any questions? I just feel like it's more important to talk about that today because clearly that was the, the focus of the reading. Uh, the replay will be available right after the live. It starts at three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, but you guys, you can, it's on, um, it's hosted on YouTube, YouTube Live. Um, so you can literally like, let's say the session starts at three and you can join it. You can only join at three 30. You'll be able to start watching it from the beginning. So literally you can pop in there whenever you want. Like quite literally you can pop in whenever you want. Um, also I decided to, um, I also decided to extend my um, my love reading sale um, because a lot of you are having some um, some obstacles in love, whether that's self love or relationships. So if you guys would like to book a love reading with me, just go to the link in my TikTok bio, and to get the discount, I'm I'm giving you guys twenty percent off. So um, the coupon code is Moon Twenty M O O N Two Zero. Okay. So if you guys would like to book a love reading with me, um, I extended the sale for through today. Okay. So the coupon code is moon M O O N two zero. The self love, um, activation. The link is in my bio for you guys to join. So go to my TikTok profile. It's the link right below my profile picture. That's my link tree. Okay. On my link tree, the first link is what you're going to pick. Okay. Also, if you guys would like, um, I just did a collective reading. Um, this will be posted on YouTube, by the way, so go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, if you guys are looking for more, for more personalized um, healing, I suggest you go book a spiritual guidance session with me. Again, the link is in my TikTok bio. Um, those sessions are one-on-one -on -one with me and they're customized. So... Um, I bring in Reiki energy healing. I bring in crystals, um, my mediumship. I connect you with your past loved ones. Um, I bring in the tarot. Okay. And then I give you recommendations to use at home during, with your own spiritual practice. So if you guys would like to do that more customized, more one-on-one -on -one stuff, spiritual guidance session would be the way to go. Um, but for everyone who said they want to join the self-love activation session, the link is in my TikTok bio. You can only register today because it is today. Yes. So the self-love activation, there is Reiki. So yes, I will be clearing out um, the heart chakra. Yay, Priscilla. I saw you joined. I'm excited. Yes. Yeah, so the self-love activation includes energy healing. Okay. So clearing out um, your heart chakra, opening you up to self-love. There's going to be a sound bath. Okay, so there will be music and sound healing as well. And then I'm going to do a self-care reading. So I'm going to be pulling from um, my self-care oracle deck as well. I know the, 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 the reading today was really good. It was really powerful. But does, um, 
Does anyone, who's signing up? Who's signing up for the self-love activation class? Tell me in the comments. Tell me in the comments. Who's actually going to sign up? Awesome. Yay. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you guys. All right. So, um, Yeah, that's okay. Whenever you guys are able to watch it, like you'll be able to watch it whenever you want to. And the thing is, guys, you can watch it more than once. You can watch it more than once. If you save the link and you want to receive the Reiki again, um, like let's say at like in three months, six months, a year, when you feel like you need to incorporate more self-love, you're going to be able to watch it again if you want to, if you want to. Sorry guys, I don't know why I blacked out there for a second. <laughs> Weird. But yeah, so um, does anyone have questions about the, the self-love activation, the love reading sale, or um, the spiritual guidance sessions? Any questions? Because I got to hop off of here. I wanted to pop on though and do a quick, a quick reading. Um, my YouTube is the same name as my TikTok, The Holistic Siren. Um, guys, if you could, um, I would love if you followed me on Instagram too. I've been trying to build my following more on Instagram. And I do post different content on Instagram than I do on any other platform. Um, but my Instagram, my TikTok, and my YouTube are all the same. The Holistic Siren. That is it. Like, it's all the same. But before I pop out of here, anyone have questions? Good. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, I didn't, I ended up not doing the career portion because the, the love reading was really coming through big time. That seemed to be the focus. That seemed to be big time focus. Crystals aren't necessary, um, but I would choose crystals that are pink or green or both. So, um, moss agate, green aventurine, um, green garnet, Maybe green fluorite, rose quartz, rainbow fluorite. Good. Oh, I'm so glad you like it, guys. Yeah, my, my readings will only deliver messages of healing. Like, that is what I, um, that's the intention I set for y'all. I do not deliver, like, any, like, BS messages. It's all love and light and for your benefit, your healing journey, I mean. Okay, um, Serena, you want to do the personal healing? Okay, so go to the link in my bio and um, you'll see an option for booking a spiritual guidance session. Yeah, if you guys would like one-on-one -on -one healing support, like doing shadow work, inner child healing, or just embracing self-love or clearing your energy, go book a self, uh, sorry, go book a spiritual guidance session. The link is in my TikTok bio. Remember, the spiritual guidance session, you guys, I bring in all my gifts. The Reiki, the energy healing, the tarot, my mediumship. All of that is incorporated. It's very customized. It's very, very customized. Amanda, I saw that. I can't wait to do yours. Yeah, the session's going to be good today. The session's going to be good today. All right. Awesome. 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 All right, guys. Well, um, I need to pop out of here. Um, so just really quick, you want to join the two, two, two self love activation healing session. The link is in my TikTok bio. Um, you want to book a one-on-one -on -one spiritual guidance session to focus on your shadow work, your inner child healing, or just clearing your energy and getting spiritual guidance. Link is in my bio. Um, if you want to join tarot school, the link is in my bio if you guys are interested in learning tarot from me. Um, in the tarot school, I will also be teaching you how to channel and connect with your spirit guides more efficiently because it's very important when you read cards. Um, pricing is going up every month. So I suggest you go join tarot school now because the pricing is going to go up. 
every single month. Um, we start in April. Okay. So I highly suggest you do that. Um, but yeah, any questions about tarot school before I leave guys, any, anyone interested in tarot school or learning about tarot school? That's like my new project that I'm like birthing right now. And I'm very excited about it. Anyone looking to learn tarot? JMC Realtor, you missed the collective, babe, but I'm going to post it on YouTube, so no worries. Okay, um, a laundry, uh, if you go to the link in my TikTok bio, babe, um, you can, if you click register for tarot school, you'll see all the info. You'll go to my land, it'll take you to my landing page. So anyone who wants to learn about tarot school or join... Um, yeah, so once you join the tarot school, you receive in your confirmation email, like a PDF, and it gives you all the information, the cards you're going to need, the tarot, the, the, the reading journal you're going to use. Yes, I am a gifted psychic. Yes. How do you know if it's the right time to learn? Your intuition tells you. Uh, JMC Realtor. Yes. My YouTube is the same name, the Holistic Siren. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm about to go to the gym, so I'm like excited. <laughs> Going to the gym is like my, my catharsis. Half pint, uh, I'll keep my fingers crossed. I hope your hubby goes for it. It's it's actually, it's you guys, it's, it's really good pricing right now. Just let your hubby know, like sign up now because in March and April, the pricing goes up. Yes, I do do mediumship readings, yes. Um, all right, guys. Well, I love you guys so much. So I'm going to let you guys go sign up for um, whatever you want to sign up for. The self-love activation, spiritual guidance sessions. That's that one-on-one -on -one healing session. Um, tarot school or a love reading. Remember, all my love readings for today are 20% off. Just use coupon code MOON20. Okay. All of that you can find through the link in my bio. Make sure you go follow me on YouTube and Instagram, please. I'm trying to build my following on both those platforms. It costs you nothing to follow me on YouTube or Insta. And plus I post different content. All right, but I love you guys so much. Happy 222 portal. I better see all of you in the self-love activation session. All right, um, I'm so grateful to support your healing journeys. And um, I go live every morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so you guys can catch me on TikTok Live. Make sure you follow me on TikTok and hit like that notification thing so you know when I go live okay but I love you guys so much and I will see you in the self-love activation healing session today